Welcome to Armless Art Studio Vlog number 13. I'm Noah. I'm the owner and operator of Armless Art LLC and I create art with my feet, particularly my right one. What a beautiful week it was. Spring has surely sprung and there's a lot of inspiration in the air. I've taken that inspiration and applied it to some drawings this week, particularly a drawing of a hummingbird. I started it this week and I finished it this week. So you'll have to stick around to the end of the video to see the final product. Additionally, this week I talk a lot about progress, making it, and what it looks like. Other than that, just really spent the week enjoying the really, really nice weather. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and there should be a bell that you can hit that will remind you of when my new content comes out. I really, really appreciate you all being here. I appreciate those interactions. Those interactions really help my videos reach other viewers like you so. Thank you for your help. So, that's all I really have for now. Without further ado, let's get into the clips. I'll see you soon. Today is Wednesday, April 12th, 2023. It's a beautiful sunny day out, nice and warm, and I think it's like 65 degrees out right now. And it's only about lunchtime, so. I would say spring is here in full bloom. I wanted to take a moment to share some recent thoughts that I've been having. Nothing bad. <laughs> when I say it like that, it kind of sounds bad. But I wanted to just talk about, I guess you would call it like an insight that I've had and that I've been thinking on the past week or so. And a lot of it has to do with the quotes that I've been writing. Um, I know last week I wrote about, you know, a little bit at a time, you got to show up to do the work. Um, don't think so much about perfection, just think about practice and progress. And this week's quote, which goes, Progress is not achieved by luck, 
or accident, but by working on yourself daily. And that was stated by Epictetus. I've, I've been thinking about that, and yesterday, you know, was Tuesday. I have therapy every Tuesday. And um, I was just thinking about these thoughts, and I remember not too long ago, like I would say just a few weeks ago, <laughs> Um, that I would share with my therapist that I wish that my mental health would plateau. I wish I could wake up every day and I didn't have to worry about making sure my mental health was in check. And uh, in my mind I see that as a plateau, like kind of like on a graph that goes up and we're making pro progress, but I, I wanted it to like flatline for some reason. And so while I've been writing these quotes and I've been thinking on these little notions every week, I've been thinking more and more how much I wish I could take that sentiment back. And, you know, I know I can't really take anything back, but I can change how I move forward. I don't want to plateau. Because I realize that if I plateau, in a way I'm giving up. And I'm not doing the best, and I'm not trying my best, and I'm not... I'm not doing the things that I need to do day in and day out to consistently take care of myself. Basically, I turn into my own saboteur. I don't think it was bad of me of thinking that I wanted it to plateau. Um, I think that it came from a really tired place because I was just so tired and so exhausted of just putting in the work every day and uh, sometimes it felt like I was making no progress at all. So this little new way of thinking, this new perspective, it's been really good for me, um, just in the sense that I'm not out looking for perfection. I know that it's a day-to-day -day thing. Show up for yourself, because if you're not showing up, you're plateauing, and if you're plateauing, you're giving up on yourself. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that because it feels really good to not have such a fixed mindset these days and to be willing to stay open and to keep going even when it doesn't feel like you should. So that's all I've got for now. I'm going to spend the rest of the day getting some editing done and I'll probably get to some drawing as well. I want to get more progress done on the hummingbird that I started yesterday. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. If you haven't, be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and there should be a bell to hit that will remind you of when my new content comes out. Enjoy that warm weather, and I'll see you soon.
And that about wraps up another week here in the studio. I want to thank you all so, so much for your time, for watching my videos, for liking my content on and off social media, and uh, yeah, just for your general support. It is very, very much appreciated. That's all I really have for this week. I hope your week was fantastic. I hope you got out there, enjoyed the warmth, have a fabulous weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye!